yes so let us see one more question we're gradually going into the graph now so what is this question between car c carbon that is coke and carbon monoxide which is the better reducing agent at 673 kelvin so as i said we are going to see you calculate uh, your uh, ligand diagram based on delta g naught value i think uh, please uh, check never g i maybe i've written g in some this one please check i'm sorry for that d delta g naught is important right so delta g naught value is in temperature now they said compare between carbon carbon monoxide now in this graph where is carbon existing carbon is here right now carbon monoxide is here so what do they say between this and this which is a better reducing agent at 673 kelvin now where is the 673 kelvin these are all delta g naught values these are all temperature values now 673 kelvin is here now this is your 673 kelvin they said at 673 kelvin if i go just see here the carbon monoxide graph line and your carbon line both are exactly coincident means you have both the values you can just see both the points are touching at this 673 this is what is 673 yes now they're asking can i use i should i use carbon or carbon monoxide to form carbon dioxide so to form co to co2 or c2 co2 which one should i use now see higher the gibbs free energy value means negative the gibbs free energy value that is a better reducing agent now let us see for carbon monoxide the negative value is minus 600 now for carbon when i see the negative value is minus 350 yes see here this is carbon monoxide if i take this line of this joining at this particular line it's minus 600 higher here this is only at the 350 this line 50. So, which is higher, more, uh, more uh, this one, negative value? So, I can say carbon monoxide has higher negative value, hence CO can be used as better reducing agent for converting CO to CO2. This is important right that let us come back and see it's almost a similar question and we'll be doing for every metal like that so why is zinc not extracted from zinc oxide through reduction through using this what do they say why is zinc not extracted why is zinc not extracted from zinc oxide okay zinc oxide is here uh, use through reduction using co why can't i use co for the reduction of zinc i mean extraction of zinc from zinc oxide Finally, the metal only we are going to get, isn't it? So now observe, <coughs> these are all delta G naught values. It's the same answer like that. When I see your C CO value, this is the, this is lying above this negative value, and this is below that. Yes. So which one can I can I use this? I, what did I say? The metals which are below cannot be reduced by those which are above because of the higher Gibbs free energy values. So again, the metals which are below cannot be reduced by the metals which are above because of higher delta G value. So that is a reason you can write metals below cannot be reduced. One more thing also due to higher <coughs> Gibbs free energy values. That's it. That is your answer. So let us see next set of questions. Now uh, earlier I did one question like this only, which is which is a better reducing agent, uh, whether it is carbon or carbon monoxide at one particular temperature. I've marked that also. That is six seventy three Kelvin. Now what happens if there is no temperature mentioned in the question earlier when they've given me the temperature i compared it okay at 673 this line exists here this exists here this exists here then i said okay fine that is what is important because zinc oxide is here carbon is below that and carbon monoxide is above and when i see i've mentioned but here when they've not given me any temperature how should i say simple now see they asked me to compare between c and co where is that where is the co first let us see for zinc oxide so zinc oxide the line is lying here this line now where is that carbon lying right carbon <coughs> when i see okay this is one carbon that is car uh, carbon to carbon monoxide or carbon monoxide is uh, obtained from carbon okay there is one more line of carbon where carbon is converted to carbon dioxide 
right so there is here this is a carbon now there is one more thing which i have to see carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is here carbon monoxide getting converted to carbon dioxide so my concentration should be more on this line one this line two and this line three important yes now see when i said uh, the gibbs free energy lower the gibbs free energy stronger is the reducing agent yes now when i see this line the zinc oxide line the gibbs free energy change is going above so which line is lying below carbon which line is lying above carbon monoxide which one can i choose the one which is above can't uh, reduce it isn't it so carbon monoxide is lying above zinc and carbon is lying below zinc so carbon is a better reducing agent than co for <coughs> zinc oxide reduction why i already said the gibbs free energy values are very much lower compared to zinc so gibbs free energy values are lower compared to zinc yes for which one lower uh, for carbon then co that's it let us see this question they asked me is the reduction of metal oxide uh, yeah, reduction of metal oxide easier okay if the metal formed is in liquid state or solid state now we very well know our criteria for studying metallurgy is basically to convert the metal oxide to metal now they said if the metal oxide is in liquid state uh, is it feasible or the metal oxide in solid state is feasible now tell me which one solid liquid or gas which is uh, which has high uh, kinetic energy yes your liquid state isn't it so when kinetic energy is high what will happen temperature will be high means that means when the temperature is higher the kinetic energy will be higher okay let us speak in terms of delta g so when i have to write the answer i have to see whether it if it is liquid or solid okay delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s now they said if it is solid if it is liquid is it feasible now i said i'll tell i'll justify the answer as the metal should be in liquid liquid state this is my answer now i'm going to justify this now see when i increase the temperature right the kinetic energy is very high means the liquid kinetic the molecules of the liquid are very high done that means when you are increasing this this whole quantity t delta s becomes more it becomes your uh, uh, higher value it increases or uh, automatically so t delta s value increases when this is increasing delta g becomes less that means negative value so when it is negative value the reaction or the state of the metal should be liquid so this is how you're going to write